Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Meraki Versary. I'm joining Crafty Meraki for their first birthday YouTube hop and they also have a Meraki Versary release and have a couple of projects I'm going to share using some of these new goodies. I'm starting with the Hugs Slimline Tag Die Set. So for this tag, I'm using some Pink Fresh Studio pattern paper. I love the 12 by 12 and um, size good for this tag. So I got this nice kind of yellow pattern paper tag and then for the hugs I have a panel of white cardstock trimmed to the size of it but before I die cut it I'm going to cover it with some tape runner and then I'm going to strip it up. I don't know why I had to sing that. Maybe because I like to sing everything and it's a Meraki versary. So let's just get down with it. And I have some solid color cardstock. Each uh, strip is trimmed to a half inch wide. Most of this is paper tray ink cardstock because I have a love affair with it. A little bit of it might might be some Simon's stamp in there. Could be a little Concord Ninth. You never know. It's all mixed in but it makes a good rainbow. I'm going to take this off camera, trim it up, and then I'm going to take that hugs die and die cut it right into this rainbow stripped up panel. I like a big chunky hugs. So take it off camera, run it through my die cut machine, and then what I'm going to do is pop this up on that pattern paper tag. So I'm going to cover the back of it with some foam tape because dimension is life. <laughs> I noticed that all my jingles have the same melody. Okay, now this is also in the hug slimline tag die set. I don't know what you call this. I'm going to call it a hole protector. Probably not the best name, but I die cut that out of some white glittered cardstock. And that's by Simon's stamp. I'm going to adhere that to the tag hole using some Barely Arts glue. I've been using that Barely Arts glue for a couple months now, and I highly recommend. Uh, I added some silk ribbon to my tag, popped up the tag on a white card base. For an additional coordinating sentiment, I die cut the sending. I did one out of that same white glittered cardstock. Three out of white, stacking it up, and then I'm going to pop this up onto the hugs. So this is kind of like, I don't know if you call it full-blown slimline. It's kind of a min line. It's like a mid slimline tag card. So there's also a U. You can do sending U hugs, but I just kept it simple with the sending. So I'm going to slap on that sending, and I like to put it on an angle. Because, I, you know, trying to stay hip. Now, one thing you got to remember is the tittle. The tittle is the dot on the eye. So you got to stack up the tittle. And don't forget it. you got your silk ribbon there. And just a rainbow hugs. A rainbow chunky hugs coming at you. Card number two is featuring the Congrats Slimline tag die set. Now, for this one, I cut a panel of Bristol cardstock. And I'm going to blend it up using some distress inks. I got Twisted Citron, Mermaid, Lagoo, Mermaid Lagoon, Mermaid Lagoon, but don't forget Salvage Patina, which is the cat's meow. And I um, haven't made a video in a while. I had a little bit of setback here in the Basson household. You know, my oldest daughter, a lot of you probably know, she had ACL surgery. She had an injury at soccer. And um, so surgery went well. Recovery was going great, and then she started getting really bad pain in her toes, her foot, the same leg she had surgery on. Couldn't figure it out, but it got worse as the days went on. Went back to the surgeon. He said, I, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't think this is related to the ACL surgery. Uh, we went to the emergency room. We went to her family doctor, every time getting a different kind of medication. Nothing was helping, and she's like up in the night. The only thing that could get her through was sticking her foot in a bucket of ice water. It didn't really take the pain away, but it kind of distracted. And um, I mean, it's torture as a mother watching your daughter go through this kind of, you know, pain. And so finally she got a nerve test. Turns out her nerves are fine. But he said, sometimes your nerves just freak out. You know, I mean, when you have a surgery and we, you know, hopefully they'll heal. A lot of prayer, okay? A lot of feeling hopeless, but right now I'm flicking on some of that wilted violet and blueprint sketch, a little bit of water, which reacts really beautifully on that Bristol cardstock. 
That's what I love about it. Now I'm going to take that congrats die, die cut it into my blended panel, and then I'm going to pop this up onto a white tag. This tag die is also from the congrats slimline tag die set. So we've got a white tag. I'm going to pop up the congrats. So the other night, this is about a two to three week process of Alex getting gradually worse and worse with the pain. Um, so they said we can give you a nerve block to help you, you know, hopefully it heals itself. The other night she comes to me and she says, mom, I think it's starting to feel better. I about dropped to my knees and just shouted hallelujah because I mean, it's a miracle. I mean, it's a miracle. It is such a good feeling to finally see a light at the end of the tunnel. And I could see on her face, you know, like her relief, you know, in her face. Now, I also added this graduation cap and grad word dye, which is from the congrats grad die set. I did a graduation cap out of two shades of purple. And I stacked up that grad word die out of that purple and added that. So you got a nice little slim, a mid slimline congrats grad card and then a send in chunky rainbow striped hugs coming at you. Make sure and check out the rest of the Meraki-versary YouTube hop. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.